Welcome back to Studio Chatter. The first day of middle school can be a little scary, not only for a student, but also for a teacher. Let's welcome Melissa Roundy, a new teacher at the Spring Canyon Middle School, to the table. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. In middle school. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. Well, bless your soul. I, yeah, true. <laughs> I'm new to middle school this year, too. So, you what are? have you been teaching? third grade at Art City Elementary and oh. so I tell us a little bit about you then yeah first. how you two know each other yeah. well we are both from Nephi I grew up in Nephi I grew up idolizing Natasha she oh, had the oh, cool God. we still <laughs> I, I, I made her say that <laughs> yes uh -huh. she she had the cool Camaro so I wanted the oh. cool Camaro yeah did no. you ever go play Barbies <laughs> No. at her house. Well, no, we how many play Barbies yeah. girls? We might have to do that. <laughs> yeah. But then she did get a cool Camaro. Did she? she you did. were you inspiring. Did, huh? right? oh. yes. She's very inspiring. But yes. We did grow up in Nephi. You now live in Spanish Fork. Yes. You're now teaching school teaching in Springville. School. Yep. But you've been teaching school for how many years now? Um, I taught four years at Art City. Okay. And now I'm going to teach at Spring Canyon Elementary in Springville. In what grade? Or Spring Canyon Middle School, okay. I'm so sorry, uh, sixth grade. Okay, that's what I thought. Yep. So why the change? Well, I, I love teaching third grade and I loved teaching reading. I mm. taught reading and I learned the reading programs really well. Okay. I saw so much growth in the students and I thought this is where my passion is. Okay. And if I can ever just teach oh. reading and focus on reading. You want to do that. I want to that do makes that. Sense. So the Spring Canyon uh, principal, she hired me um, off of a recommendation from another teacher there to teach reading my dreams. So, so I couldn't cool. pass it up. So you're I'm only teaching reading then? Reading. So they have rotations in sixth grade, yeah. Yep. Yes. So and it's just a reading class, reading, yes. not English. Not English, just the reading. Oh, okay, good so point. Yeah, I would have thought, right? why aren't they together? Right, well, so tell they, us why not. They have a writing teacher, and then they have a reading teacher and a math teacher, and they're called pods. Okay. And the students will rotate between the three pods. So math, writing, writing. and reading. And reading. You probably knew this. We're maybe out of the yeah, lab a little learned, bit. I only learned that <laughs> last year because I was a new mom to middle Which school. So yes, mom. because pods were kind of new to me. So they're so yes. lucky to have you. Oh, and it thanks. would probably be your dream because I know, I'm like, <laughs> what, reading. What are you currently yes. reading? I know, well, like, uh, can you wear a book club? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sixth grade literature. So if that interests you. Maybe not. <laughs> it is very good. <laughs> well, but I would love to dig into your mind because there's one thing, reading is one thing, right? Because my kids have actually been very good readers. Like they can read the words, like blah, 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 mm -hmm. go through the whole book. But the comprehension part is always tricky. And you always see that at the end of the year test. Like they did really, really well reading. Right. Why the comprehension? Like they kind of didn't really know what they're they not paying they attention right now why they're reading. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I'll be teaching is not necessarily the uh, phonemic awareness, the sounding out. That's a lot of elementary stuff, I'll be teaching the reading comprehension. And so how to summarize, how to um, find like the author's purpose, like what is the author trying to tell me, um, uh, text evidence. So okay. they really are, now they're going to be focusing on what they're reading and what they can get out of a book. And I imagine sixth grade, that's a really important like jumping stone into like high school and more adulting that they're actually understanding. I think that elementary yes. is just like learning the words. Right. But the understanding is where right. yeah, it all comes together. And then how does that help with other elements of school, your reading comprehension? Well, math, word problems in math, writing, I know that they do a lot of um, um, writing about things that they've read. And so just just that comprehension and is so important, especially. Um, I think like in history, for example, yeah, like in history, in history class, history. Like if you read a page and then you have a test, but you don't retain what you just read. Right, exactly. Science, anything that you're you're reading, and it's it's really good for them to learn strategies of summarizing because you do get a huge amount to read. Mm -hmm. And you need to be able to just pull out what's important. Yeah. And so are you going to give class assignments or let them choose or a little bit of both? So I'm going to have two books 
that we read and I'll split the class up into two groups and then um, we'll focus on reading groups and then um, the comprehension skill that's taught that week will focus on pulling that out of the book. Okay. So I'll, I'll know two, two books at a time really well and then they will answer questions about those books okay. to test their comprehension knowledge. Oh, so, yeah. so it's almost like going slower like through it. Yeah. Right? Sometimes yes. they're like read this book in the semester or in a month. Right. And so I think that's when kids are like just trying to read it but right. not really like holding on to the information. Right. And that's that's really what we're looking for is how much are they getting from it? And mm -hmm. they they are they're not just like reading um, materials that are like text as far as school text. They mm -hmm. will be enjoyable yeah. books that they're at the sixth grade level that they hopefully will enjoy. Yeah. So, yeah, I get to pick them with it being my first year. I'll, I'll pick the books and then I'll see, oh, was this one good? Yeah. Or, <laughs> how did this they one? like it? Yeah, how did they like it, so. So do yeah. you prefer, and are you giving them actual hard book books, like, and not electronic books. Yes, books. And I, I love Bravo. books. I love to hold I it. Too. So yes, we do. We have a fantastic library at Spring Canyon that does have whole class sets, which mm, is anywhere wow. from nine to nineteen of love the that. of the same books. So I'll I'll be able to utilize that. I wanted to ask, like back when mm -hmm. I had kids, they had twenty minutes a night at home that they were supposed to read. Is mm -hmm. that still a thing? Um, like sign off, parents have to sign it off? You know, when I taught third grade, we did, we required actually 25 minutes and the okay. kids had a calendar mm -hmm. yeah. and then they got um, the Pizza Hut coupons oh, okay. still. So they still do the book it and so, yeah. They, so in elementary, they're still saying 25 minutes. Do you agree? They should. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's the only homework, right? That they're supposed <laughs> oh, to have. Right. Yes. Really? So that's that's all that to be done home. at school. Right, yeah. and the, oh only, the only homework they're supposed to is have reading. is just reading and will that carry on now into middle school they'll do a lot of their um, reading in class I'm hoping that I get okay. enough time for them to do it if if not they can always check the book out. I kind of feel like a kid I'm a lot happier if I get my 20 minutes a day of reading and right. like I really just it my calms kids me all down. loved it too like let, let's just get a little bit of reading even if it's just a chapter real quick mm -hmm. before bed right mm -hmm. it is so good it's so it's something that you just need to keep doing so I don't know. I feel like if you quit, it's hard to get back into get back it. Into the habit, yeah. maybe. So yeah. I love that. I love that you do that because, yeah, I think kids should continuously be reading. Well, and reading is like learning and obtaining mm -hmm. knowledge, mm -hmm. and it just broadens the mind and right. the experience Melissa, of life. I, I have guess. a question for you. What's one of your own personal favorite? Ooh, does it have to be a school book? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please no. Okay. So um, one of, one oh. book that you would like even recommend to read our, our viewers or there, myself. There is a book from Jennifer Cruz and it's called Bet Me. Bet Me? Bet Me. And right. I have I like read it. I like it too. You do too? I like Three her. or four times and it is hilarious. It, it's so witty and so fun to read. It's humongous, but like I said, I've read it three or four times. And I just love it. Oh, I love it. Know. Anything by Jennifer Cruz is really good. All right. So any fears going back to school? No. <laughs> I think I might have the same fears that the middle schoolers have. Am I going to get lost? What to <laughs> Am wear? Am I going to have friends? What, Are you going to yes. go school shopping? I have. I have hit up the anniversary cell already. <laughs> it's 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 a little different because I want to dress a little bit cooler. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. True. The third graders they love polka dots and oh, yeah. and stuff, but yeah. Paris, my daughter, is like, you, you need to step it up. You gotta be cool. School, so. yeah, a little cool. Hey, yes. we, we know someone. Yeah, we that sure do. I know. You. Uh -huh. I think so. This Barbie girl. You we, probably we, wouldn't <laughs> even have to go to the store. You could just go to her closet. We may have been oh, shopping together that before. That is true. Oh, okay. yeah. she, she is very good. She, We're definitely going to have to come even back. She can moonlight as a personal shopper. Best of luck. <laughs> Thank I'm so you. excited Thank for you. Thank you. I am so excited. I am very excited to take this new leap into middle school. So You're going to be great. Oh, yeah. You've got great you. energy. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me. Of course. They're going to love you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up, we'll talk about the stress of starting the school year and how to cope.